How to check and replace the heating element in a Whirlpool 29 inch electric dryer. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet. Remove the terminal block cover. Remove this back panel. Now you have access to the heating element. Use a flat screwdriver like this to remove this wire from the heating element. And use a flat screwdriver again to remove the high limit thermostat from the heating element. Leave the wires attached to the high limit thermostat. Set your multimeter on the lower scale to read ohms. To make sure that your multimeter is working properly, do the following. Put the tips of the test probes together like this. When the tips of the test probes are touching each other, the reading should be close to zero ohms. My multimeter is showing 0.9 ohms and I consider that to be zero ohms because my meter has no adjustments. When the tips of the test probes are not touching each other, the reading should be infinity. Take a reading between the two terminals on the heating element. The reading should be between 10 and 50 ohms. If the reading is infinity, the heating element is bad and you need to replace it. To remove the heating element, you need to take out these two screws. Now grab the heating element, pull it up, and take it right out. Take the new heating element, put it in place, pull it down, align the holes, and secure it in place with the two screws. Take the high limit thermostat with the wires attached to it, hook it up to the heating element case, and then connect it to the heating element, like this. Then take the red wire and connect it to the other side of the heating element, like this. To check and see if the dryer heat up now, connect the dryer to the wall outlet. Set the timer on a drying cycle and push the push to start button to start the dryer. Let the dryer run for a few minutes. Open the door on the dryer so the dryer stops running. Then feel inside to see if it's hot or not. If the dryer is heating okay, then all you have to do is put the dryer back together. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet, install the back panel, and the terminal block cover, and you're done checking and replacing the heating element. Connect the dryer to the wall outlet, and now you can start using it.